It's November of 2018, and Red Dead Redemption 2 is officially out. And the gaming world is saying that Grand Theft Auto Online is, well, dead. Granted, people were saying that before the game came out, but now more people are saying it's more than ever. So, is Grand Theft Auto Online truly dead, or is it just ruined? We'll explain that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Swift Gearheart here. Welcome to the channel. All right, as I explained there in the intro, it's November of 2018, and Red Dead Redemption 2 has officially come out for the uh, Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, um, and any of the newer platforms. And a lot of people are are now talking that uh, you know Grand Theft Auto One is dead, and uh, quite. A f more people are saying that than there were before. And basically, you know what I said there in the intro. Now let's get down to explain that. Now then, uh, for a game to be dead, it has to be following two criteria. It has to follow a checklist. Yes, any game that is going to be classified as dead needs to follow these two steps. So. Let me go into explanation as to what these things are. Number one, uh, it has to have little to no players. Now, uh, let's take a look at the numbers here. Grand Theft Auto Online, uh, I know Grand Theft Auto 5 in general, is in fact the third best selling game of all time. Um, that, of course, is next to Tetris and uh, I forget what the other one was. But nonetheless, it's number three on the list of best selling video games of all time. So that has to go on and say something. Um, this makes Grand Theft Auto V uh, Rockstar's golden child, and with <laughs> more copies sold than any of their other games probably ever combined. So, there's that to consider, to take in. This, of course, means that there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of players worldwide enjoying this game every day since its release five years ago. Well, just over five years ago, rather. That anniversary passed a few months ago, I think. I'm not entirely certain, but anyway, so, all those copies sold, all those players, and of course, this was the first time Grand Theft Auto Online made its, no, it, 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 made, its it made its debut, and people are just blown away by this, and there, there's a lot to love about the game. Which is why people keep coming back to it day in, day out. So, there's clearly no shortage of players, despite RDR2 coming out now, and lots of people doing gameplays of that. Granted, uh, online has lost a few of its, quite a few of its players, but there's still hundreds if not thousands, perhaps millions of people still playing it, to this day. And in my opinion, there's people still going to be playing it. So, there's that. And it's going to be doing that till perhaps the end of time. Alright, so it clearly has no shortage of players. Let's go on to the number, number two thing, which is it has to have no attention from its developer slash creator. So, this, of course, is not checked off at all, because Rockstar still understands that Grand Theft Auto Online is highly popular. And, like I said, it's their golden child. They're going to take care of it. They're going to, you know, look at new ways to draw players in. And, as I even as I play, I'm still seeing people coming on that are level 1 or low-ranking players. And granted, no, these might be people that are, you know, 
have played the game before and are starting it on a new system. Like I had the PS3, and I'm starting the new. Uh, I'm starting a new game online on the Xbox 360. Uh, so uh, there's that to take in, but nonetheless, people are still playing it, and Rockstar knows this. That's why they're not leaving it alone. They're still going to be doing, um, you know, little events like this week, for example. I believe it's this week. Uh, on Facebook, I got a notification from Rockstar Games saying that there will be double money in RP on all contact missions for this week alone. And so many percentage off the oppressor and uh, nightclubs and all that sort of stuff. Now, of course, I don't know much of anything at all about all the newer DLCs because I haven't played on the newer systems yet. I haven't played the, the PS4. I haven't played the Xbox One. So for me, there's still a lot to explore, a lot to experience. And again, this is one of the reasons why people keep coming back to uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. Because for those players like me who only play it, who have only pl ever played it on the older systems, PS3 and Xbox 360, we have not yet experienced all that new stuff that all you PS4, Xbox One, and PC players have experienced. So, we're going to keep coming back to this for many, many years to come. And Lord knows, there is no shortage of stuff to do in Grand Theft Auto Online. I mean, there's more than just missions and stuff to do. There's activities. Uh, there, you, you can make your own games in there with the creator. The possibilities are endless. So, Rockstar knows this. This is why they have these features in there. To keep people coming back. So, it clearly has no shortage of attention from Rockstar. So, let's review that one last time. So, it's clearly not ignored by Rockstar Games. That was the second one. And the first one, players, clearly no shortage of that either. So, that being said... Rockstar Games and their Grand Theft Auto Online, Grand Theft Auto 5, not dead. Not dead at all. Nowhere near close. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm pretty sure he has his live stream up for, well, it's no longer live, but it was a couple days ago. Um, a highly popular uh, Grand Theft Auto Online player, The Professional. I was watching his live stream a couple days ago, and I was tapping in the chat, asking him, like, people are saying it's dead. What do you think? And he said that, no, it's not dead. He doesn't know why people are saying it's dead. So, yeah, there's people that are still doing this. Anyway, I think I've made my point there fair enough. Let's move on. So, let's, if it's not dead, is it ruined? Let's take a look at that for now. So, here's why I think it's ruined more than anything else. This is because, well, modders, hackers, squeakers, and real quick, for anyone out there who's listening to this and they don't know what a squeaker is, a squeaker is a little kid, basically. Someone whose balls haven't dropped yet. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, no, there's no shame in saying that. It is, it's, that's just a hard, cold hard truth. They're young people who should not be playing these games because, well, they're M for a reason. Come on, families. Come on, parents. Do your thing. Hello. Okay. So hackers, modders, squeakers, trolls, griefers, all of these people, we have all experienced these horrible players at some point or another during our experiences of Grand Theft Auto Online. And... 
I throw squeakers in there because, well, they're kids and... I mean, come on, when was the last time you actually got into a lobby, not just Grand Theft Auto Online, but any kid in general, any game in general? So when was the last time you got into any game, into an online lobby with a kid who actually knew their stuff, who could actually play the game well, who could who was not whining and complaining and driving everyone out of the lobby with their no with their crap no screaming ah it's unfair it's unfair ah you blew me up ah! get over it kid get over it all right these things happen it just happens in the online community of gaming But, of course, I don't need to explain griefers, trolls, hackers, modders. Everyone has experienced that, not just in Grand Theft Auto Online, but in any game that's online. These people are very powerful. Well, specifically, the hackers and modders. The griefers and trolls, well, they're just, you know, annoyances more than anything else. They're like a mosquito in your ear that just will not leave you alone. <sighs> so... These people are ruining it. The power that these modders and hackers have have at their fingertips, they're, they're ruining everyone's online experience. The griefers and trolls. From what I understand of the newer stuff with the businesses, it takes a while. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of blood, sweat, tears, and effort to get all this stuff for your business and then to ship it out you know distribute your your profits the fruits of your labor and only to have these griefers and these trolls destroy your stuff it's demoralizing it really tears you down like seriously I haven't played the newer stuff as I explained before but I can only imagine how much hype you have building up to this point where you can finally share your profits only to have it just taken away from you like that with a hydra a tank whatever no a buzzard <laughs> the buzzard the all-time no favorite tool of no people players everywhere and sadly grafers and Trolls take this to their advantage and use it, use its weapons for bad. But again, I can only imagine how terrible it feels. Like next time, like next time you have things ready to go, it just builds up the hype, and then you, know, you just don't feel the same amount of hype as you did before. Like you don't feel excited. It's terrible. And, in my opinion, this is more the truthful explanation as to what's happening to Grand Theft Auto Online. No, it's not dead. It never will be dead. And I don't think it's going to anytime soon. Like I said, it's probably never going to be dead. It's still going to be one of the number one games of all time decades from now. Granted, no, the systems will get better, the graphics will get better, the games will get better, but there is still that one game, Grand Theft Auto V, that introduced to us for the first time ever, the open world of Grand Theft Auto Online, where you can be a mastermind criminal, or you can be, you know, the criminal with a good heart, helping people, helping your fellow grinders and fellow players in this amazing beautiful world that Rockstar Games has provided us. That is going to stick around. The memories, the good memories of, the, of that game are going to stick around in our minds forever. And that's why those good, and those good memories are what draws us in. They're, it's what, no, no, it's what we, we enjoy. It's why we enjoy this game so much. But the griefers, the hackers, the trolls, 
the modders, even the squeakers, they're ruining it. They're ruining our, our gameplay experience, our online experience. So, once again, Grand Theft Auto Online is not dead. It never will be dead. It's only ruined. So please stop saying it's dead, because it's not. Anyway, I really hope that explained a few things and opened up your mind to some new ideas. If you like this, drop a like down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I upload new videos every weekend. I'm Swift Gearheart. I'm signing out. Take care, folks. Happy trails.